Hello everyone, this is E.B. the Original Master here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday morning if you're out here in the southeastern United States. And today I'm here to give you guys a, another My Thoughts video on the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct that happened uh, this morning at 10 a.m. Now, I just got back home not too long ago from taking care of my business. And I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on the Direct that I just watched not too long ago. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is looking really good. I can already say that right now. Um, we've gotten um, more details of the game. Uh, like the story, for example. So, um, so the game story is that um, Mario and company um, are visiting the Flower Kingdom. Um, where um, they're where the ruler of the Flower Kingdom is named Prince Floria, who is this caterpillar character that we've seen in the key art on Luigi. Um, he's a caterpillar and he's a prince. And so uh, Bowser invades the Flower Kingdom along with Bowser Jr. and Kamek. And um, they, he basically steals the Wonder Flower. And because he steals it, um, it affects the world of the Flower Kingdom, and he ends up kidnapping um, the citizens of the Flower Kingdom. And so it is up to Mario and company to save them. So yeah, that's the story. It's pretty basic, but it's a, at least it's better than the whole Bowser kidnapping Peach story. But we all knew that the story was going to be very similar to 3D World, where Bowser invades a new world and is up to Mario and friends to rescue um, the new kingdom. So let's go ahead and talk about the playable characters. Now, I am going to be totally honest with you guys. Um, the playable characters are nice, but I think Nintendo could have went a little bit better with the, with the roster here. So our playable characters is Mario, Luigi, um, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi, um, Blue Toad, Yellow Toad, uh, Nabbit, and Toadette. Yes, Toadette. And I'm not surprised, but at this point... I don't know why Nintendo can't just add Wario and Waluigi to the mainline games. Like, what's wrong with adding Wario? Like, they just they just went through a whole list of characters and say, oh yeah, Toadette, let's just add her into the game because, I don't know, we, we're, we're, we're that stubborn and we can't put Wario in a mainline game. But yeah, um, it, is a little, it is a little disappointing that Wario isn't in this game, but maybe... Nintendo will probably add him in another mainline Mario game, but who knows. But yeah, overall, the roster is pretty nice, but I think they could have went a little bit better. But yeah, um, so yeah, those are the playable characters. Um, new power-ups. Yeah, there were new power-ups shown in the trailer. Um, there's Elephant Mario, which we've already seen in the, in the, in the first trailer that we got on, from the June 21st Nintendo Direct. Um, so, it is official that all the characters do turn into elephants in this game. It's not just Mario. Um, the other elephant designs are a little wacky, but... I'm sorry, Toadette's design is just weird. It's just so awful and weird, but I, I can kind of find that a little funny. But when I saw her design, I was like, ugh. Like, what were they thinking? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, when I was watching the Direct, and when I saw Toadette appear on screen, I was like, boo. Because you know me, I like to joke around with Toadette. And the the, the, the direct the, the announcer in the direct took a huge L. He said two toads and Toadette. Um Toadette is a toad, you know that. I mean I mean the the, the announcer should have known that because Toadette is a species of toad, so why did he say two toads and Toadette? As if Toadette wasn't a toad species. Like, you should have said three toads because Toadette is a toad. She's a species of Toad. She's a mushroom character. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. But, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, so yeah, where was that? Oh, yeah, the, the, the new power-ups. Yeah, sorry, this, 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 my thoughts video is all over the place right now. But, yeah, there's Elephant Mario. Um, there's a new bubble power-up where if you touch um, a bubble flower, um, you can, like, blow bubbles and you can, like, stomp, jump on them to, like, reach higher places and whatnot. But, yeah, that's a cool power-up. It looks pretty cool. And there's Drill Mario, which I don't know if this was a coincidence or, 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 or inspiration from Kirby and the Forgotten Land or something, but the Drill power-up kind of acts similar to um, the Drill 
from um, Kirby and the Forgotten Land where you can actually dig underground and pop up from beneath. I'm pretty am sure that's either inspirations or it's probably just a coincidence because I'm not sure if Nintendo was 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 like, hey, um, Kirby had a drill power up. Well, not Mario have one, but yeah, the drill power up is a new power up, quote unquote new, but we've seen Mario with the drill before in past Mario games like Mario Galaxy 2, for example. But yeah, the drill power up does look pretty cool. In fact, all the new power ups look really unique. I do like the, the elephant power up. That's that's the most bazonkers power up that they've came up with. And the bubble power up does look unique too. And the new worlds in this game also looks really good. Um, so yeah, there's actually going to be seven worlds in this game, which is not that bad. It's actually a lot of a lot of content that um, the game will offer. And um, yeah, so um, they also talked about um, online multiplayer where um, it, it basically means that when you play through a level, you'll see like these ghost versions of these of the characters, and um, meaning, yeah, I, I I think what what it is is that I think what they said in, in, for the online multiplayer is that is that um there's like like ghost versions of the characters because a player must have played through that level or something, but. I'm not going way into depth with this video. This is going to be a my thoughts video of what I thought about the direct. But yeah, there's there, there is online multiplayer. There's also local multiplayer, which is pretty obvious. And in a way, it kind of works similar to the new Super Mario Bros. Wii and new Super Mario Bros. U multiplayer. But it doesn't have the chaos where players bump up, bump on top of each other and whatnot. But um, if a character does end up dying, they turn into like a ghost or something like that. And if you touch them, um, they'll revive back to normal. But yeah, that's the, the game does have local multiplayer. So, and, and and there is one more thing I do want to bring up, and that is um, the badges. Yes, they did introduce um, badges in this game. This actually, that's actually a new feature in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, where it will like give you like upgrades to your abilities and whatnot, which is pretty unique. Um, that's actually really cool and new to 2D Mario or these badges that you would, that you would equip and it'll give you all these quirks and whatnot. So yeah, overall, um, this direct was really good. I really enjoyed this direct. Um, the game looks amazing. Um, one thing I do want to bring up is, is, the, is the animation again. I really do like the fact that, um, Bowser's airship or, or whatever. I mean, I mean, no, it was his clown card because in the, in the, in the opening of the trailer, um, it shows Bowser in his clown car, and when he touches the Wonder Flower, it changes his clown car into, like, this giant ship or whatever, and it's, like, fully animated where, where the mouth part of Bowser's clown car was, like, moving. It was really cool. And bosses, um, I'm not sure if this game will have original bosses outside of Bowser, Bowser Jr., and Kamek, because Kamek was shown in the trailer in the direct, but I'm not... I'm pretty am sure he is going to be a boss, but I hope that those aren't going to be the only bosses in this game. They're, I'm hoping that there's more bosses besides those three main characters. But yeah, so overall, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is looking amazing. I am looking forward to getting this game um, in the future. I'm probably I'm, I'm probably going to wait till my birthday to get it because I'm trying to save up on money and whatnot, but I don't want to talk about that in any further details. But yes, I will be getting this game later down the line. I won't be getting it at launch, unfortunately, because... Of what I just said earlier. So I'm just going to wait for my birthday. Um, to actually get the game. And yeah. So what are your thoughts of the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct? Um, do let me know in the comments below. Yeah I know the dialogue was a little wonky. But that's to be expected with my videos. But yeah I enjoyed this Direct. It was fun. The game looks amazing. I'm looking forward to playing as those playable characters. I wish Wario got the cut. But. This is Nintendo at the end of the day. They don't care about their fans. All they care about is shoehorning Toyota in there, everything. But yeah. So anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time with more videos.